Hi, Tom Martin here from The Walking Code. In this video, I'm going to go through my top 10 walking tips. These are tips that are going to help you learn to move more fluidly, move more confidently, and most importantly, move without pain.
We don't want to tighten the core. We want to keep our core loose and fluid so we can move in whatever direction we want to go. My next tip is being aware of your arm swing. Your arm swing is going to be a reflection of how your core is moving. The arms should swing directly forward when we walk, and they should drop backwards to a neutral position as we step. The other thing to be aware of is the arms should swing in opposition to your leg swing. When my right arm swings forward, my left leg swings forward. Vice versa, when my left arm swings forward, my right leg swings forward. That applies to when I'm walking in a forward direction. The arm swing is guided by the core, and if your arms are not swinging correctly, it's generally a sign that your core isn't moving correctly. Things to watch for, number one, like we just mentioned earlier, if your palms are facing backwards, that's not a good sign. If your arms are swinging across your body, that is a sign that you're engaging your core improperly when you walk. If your arms are not swinging at all, that generally means you're not engaging your core also, or you're moving very stiffly or with very short strides, so your arms aren't going. So you should have a very relaxed arm swing when you're moving correctly. The arms should swing forward on the side opposite your leg swing, and they should drop back as you take the next step forward. And notice that my left arm starts to move forwards with my right leg, and my right arm is really just dropping back to a neutral position. So wherever my right arm ended up in this step with my left leg, it's going to drop basically, basically to that position at the end of the step. It's not going to pull backwards. If you feel your arms pulling backwards with each step like this, that generally means that your shoulder blades are too far back. And that generally goes along with the pelvis that's tilted forwards. This puts a lot of exaggerated curvature in the lumbar spine and a lot of stress on the lumbar spine, and that is a major cause of back pain. Arthritis, 
This also collapses the arches, giving you flat feet and wearing out the tendons and ligaments that support the inside of your ankle. So our feet are designed to roll straight forwards when we walk. Just like that. Not like that. That is a really common but really bad walking mistake. So avoid that one by keeping your feet facing straight forwards. The next tip is going to be don't push. We commonly hear this as a tip that you should be doing when you walk, pushing off from your hips, but it's really a mistake. We don't push from our hips when we walk. We lift from our hips when we walk. When I'm walking, I'm going to lift myself forward from my left hip. In a, in a way, thinking of lifting my left knee forwards. When I think of lifting my left knee forward, what that does is engage my hip flexors to pull me forward in a floating type action. So you can see from this point, I'm going to lift forward and I gently float into the next step. When we think of pushing, which is extending the hip, what we have is this, we rise and then we push the knee back and that ends up in a lunging sort of step that creates a forward leaning of the body. It also creates a heavy heel impact when we walk. So that's really a mistake to think of pushing the body forward. I don't push forward with the hips. I also don't push forward with the toes. You'll see this as a common recommendation, push off with your toes. That doesn't get me anywhere. You see how pushing off on my toes makes me go up. What I need to do is engage my standing leg to move me forward. There is no action of pushing down these toes on my right foot in order to make that step happen. You'll see some more details of that if you watch my top five bad walking tips video. out there on how bad heel striking is because it shoots forces and ultimately damage up the legs causing pain in the heel, the knee, and the hips. But heel striking isn't really how normal walking was ever supposed to work. Heel striking implies that we are falling and crashing into the heel when we move. That is not how we move correctly. When you glide forward with the proper core and hip actions, your Heel should actually hover just above, I'll balance here for a second so you can see. Your heel should hover slightly just above the ground at the end of the leg swing, and then you bring it down in a controlled fashion with the core when the step is completed. I'm going to back up and walk across the screen so you can see the effect of the heel hovering.
confidently and, most importantly, move without pain. Thanks for watching. Thank you.